All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about what is the drone to get in 2018. Now, as you can see, the new Mavic Pro 2s are out and everyone's saying that they're amazing and they're awesome. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you the drone to get over two things. One's price and performance. Now, price, if you've got some money, just get the Mavic Pro 2 Pro. It's called Mavic 2 Pro. Get that one because you don't care about money. You are rich. You want to get the best stuff, and that's awesome. And the good thing about this drone is they pretty much have done the dream. We've always dreamed about getting the Phantom 4 quality camera on the Mavic Pro, and it will look good. And I'm sure it will be good. But, and there's a big but. Warning. This drone is about $1,000 more than this drone. So, if you want to get the Mavic Pro Platinum, and you get all the extra stuff, for example, extra batteries, you get a carrier bag, you get extra wings, you get DJI Care Refresh, that will cost you around $2,000. And this is completely brand new. If you want to get the same features for the Mavic 2 Pro, it's going to cost you $3,000. That's an extra 50%, okay? Now you might be thinking, okay, the Mavic 2 Pro is awesome, right? Well, let me show you about the quality. Basically, um, this is some videos that we borrowed from Casey Neistat. As you can see, the quality on the Mavic um, 1, looks worse than a Mavic 2 Pro, right? It, it doesn't look as good. It doesn't look, it looks a bit dark, it looks a bit grainy, but look at the magic. You can actually make them look pretty much exactly the same just by a few tweaks. And I'm not talking about serious tweaks. I'll show you the tweaks I did here. I'll just click on this button. I've got color correction here. All I've done is just boosted the midtone slightly, made it from dark, made it slightly brighter, and boosted the highlights a bit, made it from dark, made it slightly brighter. That's all you do. Just boost the midtones and the highlights, and it's in every single Final Cut Pro package, just inside. It's really simple to make it look just as good. And secondly, you might be thinking, okay, the quality is better, right? Now come over here, let's look at the quality. On the right is the Mavic 2 Pro. And you can see that you can barely see what's going on in the sand. In fact, it looks a bit out of focus and blurry. Whereas over here on the Mavic 1, you can see the detail in the actual sand. Look over here. If you look at the trees here, it looks really blurred out. You don't know what's going on. But look at the detail in the Mavic Pro. You can actually see the quality. Now, again, I'm not insisting that the quality of the Mavic 2 Pro is worse than the Mavic Pro Platinum. All I'm saying is, if you're going to be publishing on YouTube, Everything's going to get compressed and the quality is going to get reduced and you won't really notice the details. Now, if you're a professional and uh, you pretty much, you're going to get the best one. You're going to probably going to get the Inspire, the, the Mavic 2 Pro's the one to get anyway, because your, your footage is going on elsewhere. It's going on DVDs, it's going to maybe movies and all that stuff. So you want to be getting the best drone possible. But if you're just like a normal guy like me, a prosumer, consumer, some YouTube kind of guy, what you've got is good enough. You just tweak the colors and you're doing really well in what life. Now, there is one more reason why to get the Mavic Pro Platinum instead of the Mavic 2 Pro. And that reason is it's actually quieter than the Mavic 2 Pro. It's actually 200 grams lighter than the Mavic 2 Pro. So you're going to get a quieter experience and it's actually going to be lighter to carry around. And secondly, check this out. You got this package by DJI. It's called DJI Care Refresh Plus. And what that will do is it will actually get you one year of accidental damage warranty and extension. So you can actually be using your drone for another year without worrying about crashing it. Ow, my head! And you get two replacements. It will cost you a little bit of money, but it's there for you. So you don't need to sell, fire sell your current drone and get a brand new drone. In fact, if you're smart and you don't have a drone, go on eBay. All the rich people, they're selling their Mavic Pros and their Mavic Pro Platinums. And um, they're going out and upgrading to the Mavic 2 Pro. So you might be in a really good position to buy yourself a, an old... DJI drone, adding on an extra warranty, and you've got a nice cheap system, and it will last you, and if you crash it, you're guilt-free about it, because the thing about it, when you get a brand new drone, you're probably gonna be thinking, oh my God, I don't really wanna fly this, because if I fly this and I lose it in the water, I am done, whereas if you get something cheaper, you're happy. Of course, if you are getting a second-hand one, make sure it has an existing DJI Care refresh package, because they, you can only extend the warranty if it's already pre-existing, so make sure you get one of those. Finally, I just want to address the Mavic Air series and uh, the Sparks. Now, you want to seriously be getting a Mavic Pro over those guys for two reasons. The Mavic Air, it only gives you 20 minutes of battery life. And in real life, that really means about 10 to 15 minutes. Because when you have these batteries plugged in, look what happens. They're no longer fully charged. After about a day of it being plugged in, it naturally discharges. So you always need to have a fully charged battery from the charger ready to plug in there. And that's not really practical because usually you have these things flying around and you just want to chuck it in the car and go somewhere. So really you're going to be getting about 80 to 60% of the full battery life. So with this guy, it is 30 minutes if I get it straight out of the charger and plug it straight in. But most of the time I'm only getting 20 minutes. And 20 minutes is a good amount of time to get. So if you're only getting that less, you're going to be giving yourself a headache. And secondly, it's wind. 
These guys can go 40 miles per hour. 40 miles per hour, that is fast. Now the new guys can go 44 miles per hour, that's even faster, that's awesome. But the spark and the air, they aren't as powerful. So if you're in a windy area, for example, over here on the Gold Coast, it gets pretty windy, especially by the beach, you're gonna lose control. So you wanna get one of the Mavic Pros at least, because you wanna get that stability and affordability for it. I don't know why I just said, who knows? You know why? Because look at me, I just got a drone straight to the head. It just happened. So these are the things you want to avoid. I hope you found this useful and I hope if you've already got a Mavic Pro and you're happy with it and you're eligible for a DJI Care Refresh Plus extension, you get that instead of getting a brand new drone. But if you're rich, get one. Me, myself, I am so confused. I don't know if I should get like, I was thinking of getting the new one because it's got all new sensors and all that kind of stuff. And you know, I just want to show off, isn't it? Unbox it. No, oh, I'm awesome, isn't it? But then I figured, you know, it's going to cost me an extra thousand dollars. Do I really want to do that? Yeah, maybe, maybe not, because I looked at the footage and it didn't actually impress me, and especially the fact that the footage here looks more blurry than the current Mavic, Mavic Pros. I'm thinking maybe I should, you know, wait out a couple of months, get them to sort out all their bugs, and then I can always upgrade them. One more, more final thing to say is, um, no, that's it, you know, I've said too much. Peace out. Yes, I'm using the YouTube tech channel's exit. Peace. Arrivederci, vamos. Thank you.